Hey guys, this is going to be another game tutorial on how to create a cool little stroke effect where you can stroke your um your uh, your paths uh paths creating tool whatever and you're going to make this cool little effect. You see how it looks like a little beam going around this guy? We're going to be creating that today. So this is an XD Team DX tutorial for anybody that tries to rip my videos. And this is just a picture of me um, skateboarding. Uh, so what you're first going to do is open your picture in a layer. And you're going to open a new layer. This is really important. What you need to do is open a new layer. Do not do it on that or you can't do it. So um, open a new layer. And then what you're going to do is make sure that all your brush settings are the way you want to do it. The best one is the, of course, the circle fuzzy brush. Make sure it's not anything stupid, or it'll be like going like that, all the way across your body. So, um, you don't want to do that. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do a one of the default brushes for GIMP. So I'm gonna make it a little bigger. Let's see, get a little test. Uh, that should be good. Okay. So you you could change color later if you change your mind. This is this is a pretty bright colored picture. See, there's there's every color, so it's kind of hard to saturate all of these and like you know make one color stand out. So my best one is this neon, any neon color. I guess I could do like a blue. Oh, that looks good. Okay, we're gonna do that. So um, make a new layer. Make sure you select it on your new layer. Go to your paths create uh your paths tool, and you just want to create a nice little path, just some paths around here. Yeah, I'm I'm just gonna rush this since you know I'm, I've got a time limit, but it's gonna rush this so you guys can see with a look and um you just wanna give it a nice curvy look. I mean you really don't have to do a lot, just it's really clicking and really just bending the tool. It'll look a lot better of course when I'm done. Have patience. And you just want to go around your body, give it a nice little curve so it doesn't look as sketchy. Um, I'm just going to put a little, a little loop-de-loop. -loop just for the hell of it. Okay. And now we're going to, I should be on your path stool. And just do a stroke path. And and make, it's usually selected on this as default. Come down here to stroke with a paint tool and then stroke see how it gives that cool little uh, text I mean <laughs> text I'm stupid but gives it gives that cool little glow now it, even though it's covering your body um you can do uh, selection I guess to get rid of all the things no don't do selection um, I'm making a lot of mistakes guys I'm sorry I'm a little tipsy from school but uh, do not do selection just go to your eraser tool make sure you're on the new layer and this is where you're going to give it the look that you want to give it. So I'm going to zoom in real quick. This is where you're going to give it like what parts you want to be behind and whatever. And so it should go like this. And you're just going to stroke it with the brush. Make it look like it's going under the skateboard, I guess. It'll look really cool, and I really enjoy doing this because this usually get this is really good for like everything. I mean, you can go in and out, you can go around. Really cool effect. I really enjoy doing this. Okay, and you just there might be a little blue parts. But just try to try to do the best you can. I'm rushing this, so I know your alls would be a probably a lot better. And uh, you guys can see now. I mean, it's starting to look a lot better. You guys can see it. It's starting to look like it is twirling around my body. And so. Get a little tail. Give it something to end with. So, I'm gonna zoom back out for you guys. So that's just a cool little, cool little effect you can do. Makes it look like it's wrapping around or whatever. You can always touch it up. And I have um, script foo, script foo. God, sounds stupid. 
um, you can select the same color and then it'll give it even more of a little glowy look but you guys probably don't have these um, if you want the link just send me a message but there you go just go ahead and merge that down and then a white glow to give it the look that, that I had on the desktop and blah 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 wait for it wait for it wait for it and there you go that and it, you're probably gonna have to erase again so you guys know because it's giving it's literally outlining what we originally had not what we have so so um pretty cool effect great and if you guys want to just if you guys have cam studio is what I use to record and um if you guys want to get cam studio and like show me that you doing this or if you guys have any new cool ideas that you want me to put up on on my channel um just just let me know I can check out your channel um yep just you guys got any cool t uh, tricks of gimp on your own or anything like that just uh, let me know. This was an XD Team DX tutorial, and subscribe for more.